Eagle Pass, Texas CNN. A new wave of migrants at the U.S.-Mexico border is straining already limited resources and prompting urgent talks with Mexican officials as December border crossings hit a monthly record. Border officials encountered more than 225,000 immigrants at the U.S.-Mexico border this month. According to preliminary Homeland Security statistics shared with CNN, this was the highest monthly total recorded since 2000. During the month, authorities dealt with more than 10,000 migrants crossing each day until recently. When numbers began to drop, even U.S. cities far from the Mexican border have reached a breaking point trying to manage the influx of migrants, some mayors told CNN on Friday. Greg Abbott has bussed more than 92,000 immigrants to cities across the country since last year. According to his office, these cities include Los Angeles, Denver, Chicago, Philadelphia, New York City, and Washington, D.C., all of which are led by Democratic mayors. The international crisis we're experiencing right now is being subsidized by local economies. Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson told CNN this morning on Friday. This is not sustainable, and that's why we need Congress-appropriate funds guarantee money that refugees from Ukraine receive. We need ask, why aren't the same support services provided individuals from Turkish continent, Africa and Central and South America? Johnson said the migrant crisis would crash local economies without a coordinated solution. Denver is expected to spend about 10% of its entire city budget next year on immigrant shelter and aid, Mayor Mike Johnston said. New York City has taken in more than 161,000 immigrants since 2022 and the influx will cost an estimated $12 billion over three years. Mayor Eric Adams said, This national crisis is impacting the financial liabilities of our cities and has the potential to be destabilizing, Adams said. He said New York City could reach a breaking point that could include forced cuts to school programs, the police department, trash pickup and resources for senior citizens. Every institution and service delivery in my city will be greatly impacted by the collection of $5 billion in bills this fiscal year and $12 billion over three years, Adams said. Abbott's office defended Texas' practice of busing migrants to other states, saying the bus mission provides much-needed relief to our overwhelmed border communities. As for federal government, the Biden administration has agreed to requests from some mayors to help ease housing crisis and make work permits easier for non-citizens. President Biden is committed solving this problem. That's why he submitted an additional request Congress that includes additional resources secure the border with more law enforcement, more grant funding for areas hosting immigrants, and speed up the processing of work permits. For those who are not eligible citizens, a White House spokesman said. DOJ announced that it will sue Texas OV.